What exactly is the coronavirus? Hey, the weather is amazing. Let's go outside. It's so cool that school is closed. Wait, stop. I'm sorry, but we can't go outside. Uh, this isn't a vacation. We're staying home because of the coronavirus. Oh, no. Corona, corona. That's all everybody's talking about. The whole world is talking about corona. Corona is actually a tiny virus. This virus is so tiny that it can't be seen with the naked eye. You can only see it with a microscope. And it looks something like this. Like it's wearing a lot of little crowns. That's also where it gets its name, Corona. Corona is a Latin word that means crown. Hmm, and what does this virus do? It can cause fever and <laughs> cough, but it can make older people, like grandma and grandpa, really sick. This is because the immune systems in older people aren't as strong as they are in young people. This means that young people may not even notice that they have the coronavirus because they may not have a cough or a fever. And although that is good news for them, it's not good news for everyone else. Even if someone doesn't feel anything, they can still pass the virus to others. But how do you actually get the virus? The virus passes from person to person. For example, in the tiny droplets that spread really quickly when you sneeze or cough. However, viruses can also be passed on when people shake hands or hug each other. This means it can happen whenever people are close to one another. That's why schools and daycares are closed right now. That's so cool! We can spend the whole day in the skate park or in the playground. Oh, or... boy, Bennett. But you'd meet lots of other people there. And it would be easy for the virus to hop from one person to the next. Lisa is right. The best thing you can do is to stay at home. You should only leave the house if you really need to. For example, to go shopping for food. Awesome. I can spend all day playing on my tablet and no one can complain. <laughs> I'm not so sure how good that is, but at least it would be safe. Just try to make things as fun as possible at home. You can listen to music or podcasts, play games, do puzzles, make crafts, read, paint, sing, tidy your room, watch movies, and even study. Study? I don't think so. But you want to be a marine biologist, don't you? So studying is important. Yeah, I guess you're right. So does that mean we can't meet up at all? It would be really better if you didn't meet up for a while. But you can call each other on the phone. Or make a video call from home. Hey, hey Mia. Mia. Hey, you guys. The fewer people that meet each other, the slower the virus will spread. This is very important so that our hospitals don't get too full and the doctors can care for all patients properly. Can't we just go on vacation? No, because the coronavirus is all over the world. That's because a virus can easily pass from one person to the next, wherever people are close together. Is that why all the sports on TV, our sports practices, theater performances and concerts have been canceled as well? Yes, exactly. Forever? <laughs> no, not forever. If we all follow the rules now and really make an effort to meet as few other people as possible, we will make it difficult for the virus to spread. And the sooner we can return to our regular activities. Is there no medicine for the coronavirus? Not yet, unfortunately. The researchers all over the world are working hard to develop medicine for it. And is there nothing we can do to stop the virus? Yes, there is. You can wash your hands even more often than usual, really carefully, with plenty of soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds. How long is that? Just saying happy birthday to yourself twice, but not too quickly. If you wash your hands for that long, you will clean the virus off your hands. Also, you should try not to touch your face so that the tiny germs can't spread from your hands into your eyes, mouth, or nose. If you're outside and you meet other people, keep a good distance away from them and do not shake their hands. Just smile and say, hello. And what if I need to sneeze or cough? 
It's best to sneeze or cough into your elbow, like me. Me. Uh, 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 <laughs> but kids, you don't need to keep away from other members of your family at home. Just do everything you would normally do, unless you live with older people. We need to take special care of them and avoid all contact if possible. Got it. Now, now we, we know, know what, what we, we have, have to, to do. do. Do you? Yes, of course. Totally. Me too. Stay at home. Stay healthy. We're staying at home. We're staying healthy.